99X, it's Barnes and Leslie on the Morning X. Getting a lot of emails asking about our guest yesterday, which is an advertiser, Virtual Imaging. They're offering that free heart scan and also a brain scan for a limited time. I've got a number for you to go right to it directly, and it's Virtual Imaging is the company. It's 404-419-7787. You can get a free scan, and you can also bring your partner, wife, or spouse with you. Oh, really? Are you going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to absolutely do it. I was thinking of a tagline for them, Barnes. What do you think about forecast your future? Oh, now you're doing their ads? I like that. They're advertising. (laughs) Fram's going to jump in. Uh, I I did. I'm definitely going to do it. You did it. I did the full thing, and it's really cool. It took five minutes, and they give you- You did the full Monty, yeah. The full thing. (laughs) You take everything off, and you put these little paper shorts on. I was like, man, these are strutting. I almost went back- and went through the office with those on. They're so good. But you said it did, only took five minutes, which I was like, okay, I'm in. I'm in. And I didn't just do the heart scan. I did the whole thing. Like the full body scan. They just... Zzz, 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 zzz. If you're there, you might as well do the whole thing. It's like a human Xerox. So if you would like to get this for a limited time, you can get a free heart scan. Just simply mention you heard it on our show. It's virtual imaging, 404 419 Or of course, you can always email me and I'll give you that number. And you, uh, by the way, you got a clean bill of health. Clean bill. My calc score was a 40. <laughs> so, what? Okay. I want to know why I'm the one that gets all the emails when we're in trouble. Well, who's something in trouble? That you did. What did I do? Uh, they, the IT guys, the engineers. Oh. They're like, you're not cleaning out your voicemail. Seriously? This is the second warning we've gotten, too. And then I'm the one that gets the emails. They don't even copy you. These guys constantly warn me because they tell me in the hall. You well, gotta I'm clean. T- you yeah. gotta clean it out. Don't they have better things to do? Look, we need people. Let's <laughs> just clean don't. the damn thing out. I I just loathe going through all of these, but I can't just delete them. I've got to listen. Well, to we don't them. even have an intern. All right. Well, let me. I'm putting in my code. Let's just go through it now. All right. Can't wait to hear this. Oh my God. There's no way we can go through all of these. Yeah, I'll well, try. Can we go through a few? Get through some of them. Let's see what they are. This is Vladimir Putin. From Russia, and I am 99X. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. There's one. Vlad. Hey, Barnes, Leslie, this is uh, Cody Cody Andrus, uh, a.k.a. the um, Sentient Mirror. Uh, listen, you, just, uh, you're, you were just talking about those uh, the young lads who got the um, who got the scholarship for playing cornhole. And I gotta tell you, and you're, you were making fun of that, and it's it makes me feel, you hurt my feelings because I got my college scholarship in Legos. <laughs> and I feel like if you take okay. umbrage with them getting their college scholarship in Cornhole, then you would take umbrage with me getting my college scholarship in Legos. I built a really big towers. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a real dedicated listener, and you're hurting my feelings. Bro's throwing around two umbrages. He's doing stand-up. Yeah. I love it. You don't get umbrage broken out too often. Okay. You see now why we don't go into our voicemails and listen. Continue on. Good morning, guys. This is Scott. Why didn't Cake play at, say, the Tabernacle or somewhere cool? Why did we always get relegated to some skate park or Emory University's parks or whatever? I think they need to be playing somewhere cool. And how much are the tickets? And thank you for sponsoring them. Please let me know. Thank you. Okay, so... I, was that I a compliment? Because he did thank us at the end. I was very confused by that. But I will say, when the weather is nice, and it September 28th is a great day to be out at the historic Fourth Ward Skate Park. I mean, we don't pick the venue, but I didn't have a problem with the venue. I actually think it's cool. Yeah. Come on. Well, here's the deal. 7.30, that's on the 28th. All ages. Under eight admitted free with a ticketed adult. Tickets are $50, general admission, but there is a VIP ticket, including front of stage pit, lounge, comfort amenities, and a separate bar. And they have a very, very limited amount, and that's $125. That's well, not it's called bad. an evening with cake because they're actually going to do two sets, which is cool. That's not bad at all. And the tickets, by the way, which go on sale Friday, tomorrow on Thursday, you can get the 99X tickets which ahead of everybody else. So if they run out, 
you'll be good. And the code is distance. Yeah, the little 99X presale. I think yeah. we answered all his questions. I think so. I can't believe I remembered all that. <laughs> Me too. Let's clean out these voicemails. A few more. Well, I mean, we could go on forever, but I know we don't have that kind of time. Hey, guys. This is Sean from Brookhaven. Just hearing uh, about Jimmy doing his new community stuff and uh, and then hearing him talk to you guys this morning is probably one of the funniest things I have heard on your show since you've come back. It has to be a dick. There's no way. Please address that this was real. Thanks. Okay, he's talking about us busting Jimmy on Radio Garden. Oh, that, yes. We found this cool thing called Radio.Garden, which is basically a Google map, and you can spin around the globe and go to anywhere and just touch radio stations, and they play. And out of nowhere, this is like a month ago, we found Jimmy in some little Tex- uh, Texas, Georgia town that I've never heard of. We were just seeing, you know, some neighboring areas, and I don't remember the town, but he and was actually on there. Doing public, like it was like public radio. I don't know why. And we called him on it. So no, that was not a bit. That was real. Jimmy's trying to act, I guess interest rates are so high, he's trying to exercise his other talents. <laughs> Maybe. He's doing play-by-play for Little Leagues. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. All right. Carry on. Cleaning out the voicemails on the Morning X. Hi, this is Jeannie Law. I'm from Smyrna, Georgia. Not only do I remember Turtles Records, I worked at Turtles Records in the early 90s. And I have some really cool stories about selling tickets and all those printed tickets and how we used to print ourselves tickets if we were on shift at the morning that those tickets went on sale. And also the very first time I ever heard Nirvana was at Turtles when we got a promotional CD for Nevermind and we were jamming out in the store. Would love to talk more about it. Thanks. Bye. Okay, what segment was that for? I don't even know. We were talking Did about we, 90s Atlanta something. Something because our, uh, obviously we remember Turtles. Yeah. I loved Turtles records and tapes. I like her uh, energy, by the way. Yeah, she was great. All right, let's carry on. That we can't remember what we were talking about. No, I know. Well, these are like, I mean, these go back, I don't know how long. That's we because you get... haven't cleaned out the voicemail, Barnes. For, and forever. Hey, this is Todd from Lilburn. Hey, I just wanted to call and thank you guys for the uh, the trip down memory lane with Scott Weiland and STP. Um, Scott Weiland's my cousin. And um, it was it was really cool riding what? to work this morning, what? and um, just just listen to, to people call in about about my cousin and everything. You know, I, I miss him dearly, and um, man, that that was just really cool. I appreciate that awesome trip down memory lane this morning. Thank you guys. His cousin. Okay, if you're really Scott's cousin, you got to call us. Yeah, we need a little more than that. But I know That's we, unbelievable. We didn't answer the phone. We did a lot phone. with STP. Remember we did a live X with them? I think we must have been talking about best lead singers or something, and he's calling for that, but he's, it's, it's, it's a little too matter of fact. I don't know. I'm not dropping that mm. mic. Yeah, I know. A couple more. So, hey, my name's Eric. I live in Scottsdale. If you guys are going to offer up Casey Elephant tickets, can you please put in the... The rules that the guy can't do a stage dive, okay? It was horrible, all right? The guy could have been Moses. I saw them open up for Muse, and he could have been Moses. You know, the way that he just split the pit right down the middle when he decided to stage dive. Thank God people actually care whether or not he died um, because we wouldn't have caught him. But, yeah, man, it was gross. It was sweaty, so... The guy needs to keep his clothes on and stay on stage. Thanks for listening, man. Text in the mail. I'm assuming he's talking about Matt Schultz, but I I guess he was going to stage dive and the crowd just let him fall? I don't know. I thought it was Will for a second. Yeah. Okay, dude. Checks in the mail. Let's get one more in. Hi, my name is Kenny Hemmer, calling from Marietta. And I was just listening to the conversation about Lincoln Park, and I think I have a couple of great references, and that would be Nirvana and Stone Temple Pilots. Nirvana ceased to exist when Kurt passed away, but from it evolved Foo Fighters. Dave Grohl has done a phenomenal job. When Taylor died, the Foo Fighters stayed the Foo Fighters, even though they replaced the drummer. Can't really replace a lead singer. Stone Temple Pilots, 
artists there on tour right now, but without the lead singer, it's just not the same. It almost sounds like a cover band. And as a diehard Stone Temple Fi- uh, Pilots uh, fan, without Scott Weiland, it's the cover band, and I can't go see them in concert. Thanks. Bye. I have to agree with them almost 150,000%. Well, this is the other the other opinion, because some people want their favorite bands to live on, even if it means an, a new lead singer. So I understand both sides, but quite man, honestly. He poses a very good argument, and he's so calm about it. Mm-hmm. It felt like that was five minutes of a lecture. That was only 40 seconds. But you know, in the rock world, like I went to see Queen, Adam Lambert nails it. True. It does work in some cases, but he kind of has a good point, at least on paper. I know. Some of the bands, it does feel a little weird when they try to put someone else up. But look at Journey. I mean, who thought they could go on without Steve Perry? And they have gone on forever. All right. Lose our number. I'm kidding. Those are (laughs) people that call when we're on and it goes to voicemail. I'll email the engineers. Yeah, call us anytime. 470-741-4999. This right here, you're calling 99X.